and buy the horns and take those horns and put it up someone's butt. Is this my first shooter? Have they never made another shooter? No. Blah 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 blah. All right. One, two, three. Gonna blow your eardrums. My singing is crap. Go up the hell, you stupid hedgehog! Tails can do it. Uh. Darkwing Duck. Darkwing In Duck. In trouble, you call DW. Who? Darkwing Duck. Uh huh. Uh huh. Let's get dangerous. I may Earthbound. not be a smart man, but I know <laughs> what love is. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <gasps> oh, whatever. It was worth it. Sven, put the present down. That's not yours. Why is he from Jersey? We did it. That's it. You did it with one man and half of a life left. That's right. Loki has gone down. Arthur used his magic weapon to finally destroy Loki. I'm out of God, no! I'm out of God. <laughs> hey, yeah. All right, Can everybody. Shuffle? Let's shuffle. I'm freaking racing, I'm freaking rad. Yeah, I'm rad! Can you look how rad I am? Oh yeah! Let me tell you something about life! You gotta take it by the horns! And take those horns and put it up someone's butt! Is this my first shooter? Have they never made another shooter? No. Blah 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 One, two, three. Blah 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 Gonna blow your eardrums. My singing is crap. Blah 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 Go up the hell, you stupid hedgehog! Tails can do it! Uh, Darkwing Duck. Darkwing In Duck. trouble, you call DW. Who? Darkwing Duck. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's get dangerous. I may Earth not bound. be a smart man, but I know <laughs> what love is. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Whatever. It was worth it. Sven, put the present down. That's not yours. Why is he from Jersey? We did it! That's it? You did it with one man and half of a life left? That's right. Loki has gone down. Arthur used his magic weapon to finally destroy Loki. I'm out of God, no! I'm out of God! <laughs> hey, yeah! All right, Can everybody. Shuffle? Let's shuffle. <laughs> I'm freaking racing. I'm freaking rad. Yeah, I'm rad! Can you look how rad I am? Oh yeah! Let me and we are live. Get it from yeah, live. Oh, we gotta check that set out. That set's a little bit nutty. <laughs> I'm not gonna bring anything All up. Right. Well, are we? Uh, you got Discord going? Discord's nope. up. Everything's up. We are well, up. We are live. All right. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the RA review. Um, there are a lot of folks uh, streaming tonight. So let's uh, let's start with some shout outs for folks. Um, just in our community here, um, you know, like Pulse is going right now, so I'll throw him a shout out. And uh, Deactivated Styles is going. Let me throw him a shout out. Hey there, Cosmic. Welcome Ooh, in, Cosmic. sir. Cosmic will be right back. I'm coming for your All score, right. Cosmic. <laughs> you better watch out, Cosmic. I was close close it was was close uh, on oh you got Cassie cool going. yeah Minnie's on now yeah he's doing a lot of a lot of folks are on and doing RA stuff tonight so I'm just gonna throw out some shout outs for those folks before we start get really get going seriously here but um for anyone who's new to the show or watching the VOD we uh this is our retro achievements review where we go through the lists of uh, the new sets that came out in the last week for Retro Achievements. Retro Achievements is a uh, website where you can sign up and start playing uh, on Retro Arch uh, emulators, which uh, have different cores for different systems, like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, uh, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, um, really all, all kinds of different things. And um, the Retro Achievements are basically a way for gamers to create challenges for each other um much in the same way that xbox has their achievement system and the playstation has their trophy system 
So uh, this is basically by gamers, for gamers, retroachievements.com. Um, I will go ahead and put the link there in chat. And uh, you can go look at the uh, most recent set um, alongside of us here. We have an interesting... Oh, it's not .com. It's not... It's a... Uh, Work. Uh, we have an interesting list tonight. That we do. That we do. Um, yeah, if you want to follow us. Can you delete that one? Because it's I put in retrochievements.com and it's actually .org. Where's my... Uh, I don't uh, think I could even... Delete uh, a message. I don't think I could delete it. I mean, I can delete your message, but I can't delete my own. Uh, I would have to oh, be well. a moderator for you for that. Hey. Oh, whatever. All right. I'll just, uh, there we go. I'll, I'll pin your, your message rather than mine. Anywho, so let's get going here. Um, so I'm kind of forgetting where we ended off last week. I think we might have talked about Battle for Volcano Island and Return of the Ninja. Um... Because last Monday was the uh, 19th, but um, the uh, the dating on uh, date system here on Retro Achievements is all the UTC. So I think we saw some of the, the 20th, February 20th games. I think we talked mm. about. We think we stopped the um, return, return of the Ninja, which, by the way, is a very, very, very good game. I've not started it yet. Um, I played just a little bit of it, but... It's a ch kind of a challenging game, but it's fun. It's it's a lot of fun. All right, we'll start with Yakuman then. What's whether here? or not that's what we started with? I think so. Yakuman is probably a Mahjong game. Looks mm -hmm. like it's a Mahjong game. It is. It looks. Um, it. Yakuman, I think, is the name of a type of hand you can get in um in when you play Mahjong. Um, most of these sets are pretty straightforward. Uh. So like you have different, uh, you're going up against different named enemies in a story mode here. So there's a Hanzo, there's a Taro, there's a Himeko. So I think this is 1v1 Mahjong rather than a four player. Um, Mahjong is kind of like, you play it with, with tiles rather than cards, but it basically kind of, it kind of works like uh, Gin Rummy, where you get a set of, um, and the rules are a little bit different, but it's kind of the same idea. Hey, Knocker, welcome in. Um... Awesome work, sir, today on your uh, Pugsley. You got a, you, he beat the game today, so quite a few achievements there. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah, so so Yakim, we're uh, going through the new sets today, and um, the first one on the list here is Yakuman from Intelligent Systems, uh, which is a Mahjong game, and this is interesting, too, that it's Intelligent Systems. I believe these are the same guys that do all the uh, Fire Emblem games. Um... Right? Yeah, Fire Emblem. So this is kind of one of a... Uh, it's almost an in-house studio for nin for Nintendo. I don't know if they made it for other systems. I don't know. They made games for other systems. But they're very very much a heavy hitter for Nintendo in the uh, NES, SNES, and Game Boy days. And they've made a whole ton of different games in different genres. But uh, this is one of their Mahjong games. It looks like they've got... It's a, two, it's a 1v1. Uh must achieve us here about you know uh, so you know how to play mahjong guys. right vaguely i mean i've played through the uh, the yakuza the the mahjong that you can play in yakuza which is uh richie mahjong um i believe there's a couple different rule sets you can use uh that played a little differently in in um yakuza the mahjong you play it's all about um collecting triples and doubles and a triple can be either three of the same tile or um, uh, uh, three different tiles that all align next to each other like you have different uh, essentially like four different suits of numbers so you have like the the bamboo the circle the dots um the um the actual like uh kanji numbers um I think what the other one was. I think there's four of them. Uh, there's also like four dragons, which are white, red, green, and black. Black is like a Naka kanji mm -hmm. for the dragon. Um, 
and those are almost like wild cards in some ways. The you they count for more in your hand if you get a triplet of them than if you get a triplet of like the numbers. Um. Uh. So slip. Hey, Slippy, welcome in. Um. You're thinking of Mahjong Solitaire. So when you're when you're doing like a Shanghai, there's a game called Shanghai that's on a couple different consoles. That's all about matching and like you build towers out of tiles and you just have to match the symbols. But Mahjong, the the actual game is a uh, is basically like Jin Rummy. <laughs> Bless me. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, Naka says, was neat to actually beat Pugsley. Has some nasty spots. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Pugsley's Welcome back, nasty... Cosmic. <clears throat> Pugsley's definitely a nasty game. So... All right, and so the rest of these on this set are, like, getting specific hands. So, you know, like, in, in poker, you might have, like, a full house or a um, flush or a straight. Um, these are kind of similar. Um, four wins is you have, uh, I guess these are, this is another kind of thing, like the dragons. You have the wins. So you have, a, they're each a, a conjure character for the different directions. It's so like north, south, west, east. Um, and there's, you know, there's four of each of those tiles in the, like, deck. I don't know if deck's the right word for this, but um, you can get a, if you get a hand that's, uh, you're matching 13 tiles together, and so you need, um, uh, what is it, like, four pairs of, no, maybe it's 14. So you can hold 13 at a time, and you can take, you take your, um, your final one you take to make 14. And so, um... Yeah, I think it's three pairs of, no, four pairs of three and one pair of two to make a hand. This um, is a Mahjong? For, for Mahjong, yeah. Wow. It's like a four wins, you'd have all four of the, the um, you know, north, south, east, west in your hand. Um, all terminals would be like you'd have uh, pairs of one, two, three, or um, seven, eight, nine. Or not pair is the right long word there, but you uh, there's a there's a kind of triplet that's like um, three numbers together, and a terminal is a triplet that ends at either one or nine, so one two three seven eight nine, um, or triple ones triple nines, or you and you have your doubles as a as a double nine or double one. Now, did you teach yourself how to play this? Um, I mean, there's there's some pretty uh good tutorials in the Yakuza games for how to play Mahjong. So, I mean, Ma Yakuza taught me how to play Mahjong, I guess I'd say. <laughs> I could see that. I know a yeah. friend of mine was telling me about um, Mahjong in, in Yakuza, and he was like, oh, it was kind of fun, and he enjoyed it. And then he went to go play, like, real Mahjong games and just completely failed at them. So... <laughs> Yeah, I've been told that the, the Yakuza version is a very watered-down version of the actual game, so I don't know. The, well, oftentimes, video game versions of games are not quite the same as the actual physical one. Even when you go to play, like, poker, um, you know, in a digital game, you might have, essentially, an infinite deck, um, or you might have, you might be playing one deck, um, so it's either, it's either easier to count cards or, or impossible to count cards. But in, in physical reality, you typically play with four decks, which could be harder or easier, right? Now, of course, Mahjong is completely different from Shogi, right? Shogi's more chess, or is chess. Yeah, Shogi's an entirely different game. Okay. And Go is an entirely different game. Never heard of Go before. Um, I think over here, the closest thing we have is Othello, but you're basically... Othello, you play on like an eight by eight board, and I think Go, you play on a sixty-four by sixty-four, but you play with uh, like white and black pieces, and you're just capturing territory um, by surrounding your, surrounding your enemy's pieces on all, on four sides, and then you can cap them, and then you your score at the end is like the area, um, the territory that is surrounded by your pieces mm -hmm. plus the number of any enemy pieces. So would kind of that, would this be game. something that you would you would like play? I mean, it seems like you're never very knowledgeable about, you know, mahjong. 
I have wanted to go and play some of the Mahjong games in RA at some point. Um, I just haven't quite been in the right mood. But there's one, so I'll, I'll add this one to my list, but there's also one on SG-1000, and there's one on NES. Um, and I can see there's at least one here on uh, Supervision, which is kind of the uh, um, jank Chinese version of the Game Boy. Oh, really? Yeah. I never knew that. Huh. <laughs> I didn't know that was there. our first game on the list. I didn't we probably went into into too much detail of Mahjong there. But. Supervision. Uh, I think we talked about Nick. No, we didn't. Okay. So next one here is Nicktoons. Um, Battle for Volcano Island. So this one's a 3D platformer, and you get the different characters from the um, uh, Nicktoons lineup from the mid '90s, late '90s. So you got SpongeBob. You got the uh, Aussie Fair Parents. Danny Phantom. Parents, kid. I think it's Fairy and, Odd uh, Parents. Yeah, Fairy Odd Parents. Danny Phantom. And, uh, Danny Phantom. SpongeBob. Oh, Timmy. I like Timmy. Timmy is an average kid. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> I used to. I, I watched that show a little bit, and then he just started to drive me crazy, and I was like, I'm done with this. I'm not watching this anymore. <laughs> show was all right. It, it was alright. And then you had uh whatever that, that bulk guy was with the with the wand who impersonated Arnold mm -hmm. Schwarzenegger. So yeah. <laughs> so we can look this one up. This one looks like a collectathon. Man. So speaking in the same genre of games, I was looking up uh some of these these games and man Ratatouille that's that's a set and a half. Uh, based off the, uh, the Pixar movie. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's my. Well, that's one of my favorite Pixar movies, and that. Mm -mm, no, thank you. That set's ginormous. It's 3D. Yeah, it looks kind of cool, Cosmic. I, I gotta be honest with you. It looks it looks pretty cool. So yeah, it looks like, uh, you know, something along the lines of, like, uh, you know, Dungeon Kazooie or Super Mario 3D, um, or Super Mario 64, rather. Um, I wouldn't expect it to be as good as those, but, uh, maybe a little bit more combat focused. What was that? I think it came out of that storm above the volcano. I mean, it's fairly simple combat. You just have, like, a basic punch here. Different characters might have different uh, abilities. Danny Phantom was pretty cool. I like Danny Phantom, but this this doesn't look so bad. It's like every other like SpongeBob S game. Uh, skip ahead a little bit here. Do we take the high road or the low road? We can take both! It's kind of a full party here. It actually kind of reminds me of some of the LEGO games. It does. Yeah, faintly, faintly reminds me of the LEGO games. It does look pretty. It doesn't look bad at all. Those crabs that look like SpongeBob. <laughs> SpongeBob crabs. Yeah, it's a little hard to tell if the if the set's good or not. Um, looks like a lot of folks are getting um, the different chivos here. Mm -hmm. um, do we have any masters yet? We do. We already have eleven masters. Okay, so this is probably a pretty easy set as far as things go. Probably a whimsical game. Yeah. Alright, next up, we're going to be skipping over homebrews. We've got Jackie Chan Adventures. And we gave this one to Foxy this last Saturday. Um, to go give a shot. And it was okay. It's a beat em up. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's a beat em up uh, from the, based on the Jackie Chan. Um, 
TV show, which I've never actually caught any episodes of, but I used to see commercials for it all the time. It was a little bit after my time, I suppose. Uh, let's see here. It, it was a cute show. It was, I think his grandfather or something owned like a, a store, and he had the little, I think it was his sister or something, and um, it was kind of cute. Baron got quiet. All right. Talk again, Baron. Oh, yeah, I just I'm just reading through the list here. Uh just kind of seeing what this what the uh, set is like. Looking to see if there's any damage list. It doesn't look like there's any damage list. There is a complete the game on hard mode and achieve the the highest rank for di- different missions. And that that might end up being essentially damage list or uh speed running. Um but it's mostly just like uh you know, get a gold medal, essentially, and then uh, achieve the high score. It is interesting that they use the, the term black belt, um, considering Jackie Chad is Chinese and does kind they of don't have belts. Karate. Yeah, they, they <laughs> don't have belts in, in Kung Fu. They just have mastery. All right, so let's look at this one. I don't. The Matrix didn't come out in the '90s, so I can't do that. But I was about to say, "Whoa, I know kung fu." Oh, there you go. From like uh, the Matrix. <clears throat> yeah, when he says that, and he fights Morpheus, and the Morpheus is like, "Come, show me." Yeah. This doesn't look bad for Game Boy Advance. Game Game Boy Advance has some solid games. It was a good system. A pretty big library and surprisingly, like lots of uh, pretty good games. Yeah. Um, I remember Slippy always saying that. He's always like, "Oh, Game Boy Advance like always has a great library with a lot of good games on it." I mean, we saw that from Action Man. Um, this one's not so so bad. It's very colorful though. We definitely have a kind of Golden fun. Sun. Well, for that library. Oh yeah, Golden Sun was classic. Um, Golden Sun, uh, Drill Dozer we played before. Played yeah, that was time. a good game. Um, I need to go back and finish that one at some point. That game looked awesome when you were playing it, I gotta say. It looked like a super fun game. Yeah. So yeah, if you're into, if you're into beat em ups, this looks like it could be pretty fun. Um, it's got a little bit of uh, like platforming and you're moving um, you know, like you're moving through some of the levels and, um, you know, it looks like you're like, climbing up the stairs and stuff, and, um, so it's a bit of a, there's a bit of, like, platforming and stuff, and then it's not just keep up. Yeah, it'd be a, it's kind of hard to tell if it's any good, because I think the, the main thing is going to be the control, um, and how it, how it feels. It looks like it could it could be bad. <laughs> I don't know, or it could be decent, but just the uh, you know graphical quality there. Yeah, it's, it's got some style. Well, music seems good. I'm gonna throw it up on a RR. Actually, I'll write, I'll I'll make a note of that. <clears throat> this one, oh this one. <laughs> yeah. Um, in next off, we got the hunt. Uh, wait, is this hunt or? Yeah. I guess it is in the hunt. This one got a subset and a. A regular set. Um, so it's anyways, such a great game. It's a shoot 'em up where you play a sub, I believe. Yeah, it. So, in the hunt. So, if you scroll up, the photo that you're looking at right there, the cover art on the right is the U.S. version release cover art. The one that's on the left is the cooler cover art, which is what the badge is, and that's the Japanese cover art because there's like a dragon breathing fire. You basically play as a sub. And it's the same mechanics, Cosmic, as, um, oh, God, uh, Metal Slugs. It's a great game. It's kind of like a shooter-esque or, yeah, kind of like a shooter run-and-gun type of game. Um, I, ha- I have the physical one of this. I- I've had this for years when it came out. I loved it. Uh, it's a great, phenomenal game, good soundtrack. The sub is, sub moves, you know, interesting Sub's very interesting the way it moves. No, I'm I'm gonna play this one today. 
Got it. You can do this so, one other than Alpha Beast. Yeah, yeah, I was not. You said SMS and I laughed. Um, I hope I was not while I was is him watching. But it's just, it's a good I love, love the backgrounds in this game. I just, it, I, I, I don't, I just, I really do love this game. It's, it's a great, solid game. Uh, I did not. Um, no, we didn't. I don't, I don't, maybe that's a little bit louder. Let me hear, let me. Testing, testing, testing. Should be fine now. Yeah, the opening is pretty badass. Okay. Yeah, this definitely looks like this gives me uh, Metal Slug vibes. Right. Is this Neo Geo? Or you would think. System, but I mean, like. Uh, you would think. Obviously, it's Saturn. But I mean, is it is it SNK or? I don't think it. I I don't think it is. Um. Imagineer published it. So. Hey, and fighter. Sorry. I'll try to speak up. I don't know. I have the volume raised like all the way up. So I, when he talks, the volume bar goes, I think up to like negative 10. <laughs> up to negative 10. Oh boy. Roto, that's actually pretty, pretty good. Cause that's in like the yellow. So right now this is in green for uh, OBS. Then it gets moved up to yellow. It is. I really like the artwork in this game. I like the backgrounds. Um, the the set though is is insane. Yeah, I, might... I saw that the um, there aren't any masters for this yet. Yeah, um, sets been... hard. Um, and granted, it's only been about a week. Um, but uh, not a lot of people are getting these. Uh, continue the one CC and death. Like nobody's gotten the death list for some of the later levels, and uh, nobody's gotten the two or fewer continues, which is kind of surprising because, um, you know, we, there's some pretty skilled players out on uh, in the right. world. It's so, it's uh, hard because there's a lot of stuff coming at you, and it's not like a normal, hey, I'm in a sub, I'm underwater, I'm shooting stuff in the front of me. No. Like, you look in the video, you have stuff in front of you, you have stuff on top of you, you have stuff coming from behind you. It, it's, it's a tough, tougher game. Definitely to play. Mm. I mean, I even looked. I looked at some of these, like uh, arm to the teeth. Your power up weapons, okay, whatever. But then once you start scrolling down, and it's complete stage two without dying, complete stage one without the. The last right. stage is just it. It's insane. And they've got multiplayer. Um, uh, the subset here is the multiplayer subset. Oh, that's cool. So uh, we could we could go for trying this as a as a duo at some point. I would do um, that. I already kind of, I already kind of picked a different game to play tonight, but um, maybe it's some, maybe like on a free play Friday we could work on this. I would, I would totally like that. I've never done a duo with this. I've only done the solo, but yeah, it's a like I said, it was a really great game. It is tough enough. <laughs> is that like a throwback to what the SNES? I think it was an SNES game called Tough Enough. But yeah, it it it's a solid game. Solid game, just it's very hard. Oh boy, here we go. SMS. Yeah, so here's Altered Beast on the SMS. No. Um, mm -hmm. Quite a few of us are probably already familiar with this franchise. Uh, I've not, uh, I've not played this on SMS. I'm kind of surprised that there that it was an SMS game rather than. Um, I I want to say I think we rented this a lot as kids on the Genesis. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's I think it's on Genesis. As it well. was a it was a pack in with the Gen One when it first came out. Ah, it was really tough. We never beat it. We never beat it on it Genesis. Hard. I think we got to like stage three when we rented. Um, but we weren't. Yeah, we were like particularly skilled players I think, either. I think personally, um, my favorite, um, because Altered Beast has been around for years. It started off in the arcade. Uh, got ported out to all the systems. I think the best Altered Beast I have ever played. If you guys want to try it. Um, is the Altered Beast for PC CD. Uh, gives you the full backstory of the game itself. And it just plays way better. Better handling, too. 
Oh my. I mean, <laughs> aside from everything being purple. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Oaz, here's another masterpiece on the SMS. <laughs> Some old game in the movie. <laughs> I love about, the, about this game. Oh, it's even that voice! It does, yeah. Power up. Power up. I yeah, was that was the big thing um, for us as kids that we just thought was, you know, really fun with this was just the rise from your grave. Yes! Yes! You know, and yes. power up! Genesis. Uh, on, Genesis. Uh, on Genesis. Oh. Yeah. I just, oh man, I, you, oh wow, I got goosebumps. I, I remember, um, like, uh, just getting the Genesis and putting this in and just hearing the guy say, you know, what, what, what you said or I'm afraid. And I was like, oh my god, video games are talking to me. And it was, I, I played this game until I think I burnt the, I might have burnt the controller out or just, I, I just, I love, 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 love this game. Yeah, this, this part looks kind of janky on the SMS. Yes, it was, Slippy. Every time you would, you would, whatever, and then when you, when you would have someone join, or, or sub, I think the subscriber follow you, it would say, Welcome to your doom! My YouTube sounds kind of loud, sorry. So, okay, so it's Altered Beast. It doesn't play quite as well as the uh, Genesis version, but... Perhaps if you've already beaten the Genesis version and you're into this particular game um, and you want to play it like every port, um, looks like people are getting achievements on this one, so it's not it's not too bad. There's oh, it's uh, actually a lot of damage list ones. Pretty pretty good. I mean, it's a it's a solid of uh, sixty six and forty four percent. There's only the last bottom three that are thirty three, but that's that's not really bad. It looks looks attainable. Yeah, yeah. Um, it is kind of crazy to me that there's a, um, like, damage list for the whole stage. That's uh, you don't necessarily see that all that often. Um, but uh, eh, you know, people are getting them, so it's maybe not that bad. Um, <laughs> use four continues. Surrender, you loser. Nice. There's a, there's a, there's a lose the game. Lose the game very poorly. <laughs> Achievement. <laughs> Forty-four percent of people unlock that one, <laughs> and play the play the game on easy mode. There you go. There's an e easy achievement. All right, so that looks that looks actually kind of fun, um, especially if you've already played and mastered the uh, Genesis version. It's all this is not going to be as good as the Genesis version or the arcade, but you know, it's essentially the same game with toned down graphics. So. Next up, we've got a Crash game, uh, Crash Bandicoot, Crash of the Titans on Nintendo DS here, uh, which is a 3D platforming and beat 'em up game. Uh, looks like it might play like the other Crash Bandicoot games. Uh, got a lot of collectathon type achievements here. Um, uh, smash all the crates, collect all the gems, defeat Din Godzilla, defeat a damage list. We got here break all crates. Ah, another damage list for a whole stage. Get the normal ending. Get the secret ending. There's a prize machine. Oh, I guess there's some RPG elements to this one. You can max your attack, your defense, your health. Slide, jack, flick. Huh. Turn on a hack and exit the menu. Complete the beast here. All right, should we take a look at this one? Saiyan? You still there, Saiyan? You've gone quiet. Skip. Slippy says. I think Sam muted himself. Oh, maybe. Mm. 
Maybe it's just the outlines there, but that looks kind of... This looks like somebody's, like, fan game. ...to turn all the peaceful creatures into horrible Like, the character designs are just a little off from the other, from the PlayStation games. Collect Wampa Fruit to replenish Crash's health. Touch on demand items on the touch. Huh. Okay, so this is more, um. It's not like straightforward, uh, the way the, uh. What do I want to say? It's not. So the, the original games, like, you're basically moving almost in a straight line, and it's a very, like, you know, forward, backwards, uh, lane that you're kind of in in most of the levels. Um, mixed with some 2D platforming levels. No, I was just talking on mute and didn't realize I was on mute. Ah. I've never played any of these games. You never played any of the Crash Bandicoot games? No, I never played any of them. I would recommend, I would recommend the, the first three on PlayStation. They're pretty decent. Especially if you like, um, platformers. They, uh, I feel like they're maybe the first 3D platformer that I liked. Um, because I didn't like, I didn't like Mario 64 very much as a kid. Um, and I thought, I thought the Crash series did it better in terms of, like, the controls were a lot easier to deal with. It didn't feel like, didn't feel like everything was ice the way it, it does in Mario 64. But it also didn't have the, uh, it doesn't have the mastery level that, R64 does. Um, this one looks quite different. It's it looks like it's very much its own thing. And it looks like the uh, the art style is just a bit different. Looks interesting though. I don't know. It's like it's got elements of the Crash games, but it's kind of got its own thing going. I guess you, if you can beat people up without killing them, you can ride them. I don't know. I mean, we play so much monster hunting with all the uh, <laughs> mounting mechanics in that. Maybe this is a far alley. Looks interesting. Looks kind of fun. Well, I, if you like the Crash games, you, this might be up your alley. I never played Mario 64. You never played Mario 64? Mm -hmm. The or only, the only 64 games I ever played were the Zelda, um, the two Zeldas and the two Castlevanias, and that was it. So you haven't played Banjo Kazooie either? No. Hmm. I feel like you should play some of those at least once. Um, Banjo Kazooie was, was a lot of fun. Um, Mario, I feel like Mario 64 is, eh, it's pretty good. Um, it kind of set the standard for a lot of things, and Crash Bandicoot's pretty good. I feel like those two together kind of set the stage for 3D platforming, and, uh, Banjo Kazooie was, um, a, I think a little bit later, and, um, maybe just a bit, uh, like on, on a tier up from either of them. But, uh, anyway, there you go, Crash of the Titans on Nintendo DS, a Crash Bandicoot game. Um, got a couple of hacks, and mm. I got Loco Roco. Oh, the adorable little PSP game. Yeah, I, uh, I had the soundtrack for this, but I never played it. Um, soundtrack was weird. <laughs> It's a gigantic set. It's a big, big, big set. 101 achievements. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of collection achievements I'm seeing. Um, there's uh looks like there's uh, some speedrunning achievements here. Cosmic says he finds Crash way harder than Mario 64. And you played Loco Roco? Did you like Did Loco you like Roco? <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. So, more collection achievements. 
I played this one briefly. Um, I don't know if it was on a demo disc or whatnot, but it, it was an adorable little game. Mm. Extremely colorful. Some demo stages. And I guess you can build your own stages, too. There's a local editor. Give this one a check out. Uh, so PSP, Loco, Loco, Gameplay. So this has uh, some eat and get bigger mechanics here. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> you have some ability to uh, split up. Goes on a, a ten of the adorable meter. Got some secrets there, hidden walls. You're not fat enough. Gotta go get some more. Gotta go eat some more. Apparently. <laughs> I will say that I'm getting a little bit dizzy with the. Uh, the world being so off kilter. <laughs> Looks like it could be fun, though. Like you said, very, uh, very cutesy. It is very cutesy and colorful. <laughs> Slippy says, "I don't like it. It's making me feel sick." Okay, so it will. Slippy and I are having have, having some similar thoughts here. Um. Just a little bit. The screen going up and down and backwards is a little bit strange. But I don't know. That could be a uh, that could be kind of cool if you're up for platformers and collective bonds, 2D platformers, collective bonds, physics puzzles kind of stuff. Um, next up, we've got an Ice Age game. So this is the uh, uh, I forget which studio did the Ice Age movies. They're kind of like a discount Pixar. Um, and they've got the the guy from Everybody Loves Raymond. Um, I think, I think he was one of the, uh, um, I think he was one of the mammoths. Um, yeah, there were some okay movies, but they always felt, they always felt like discount Pixar to me, you know? <laughs> Did you mute yourself again? You still there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Um... I was just eating something real quick. Gotcha. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Looks like it's got quite a few mini games here. So it's got Penguin Bowling and Eviscerator. Uh, Bat Cave Challenge. Uh, collecting Acorns. It's a really small set. I guess there's five, six, eight. It was a cute movie. <laughs> I mean, if you look, like a lot, a lot of people are, they're getting the achievements for it. It's not, it doesn't look bad. Most popular achievement is, um, collect the acorns behind Diego's back within 55 seconds or more left on the clock. Yeah. So it looks like a, a fairly easy set. Um, probably a fairly, uh, probably a game that's aimed at a fairly young audience. Um, I mean, granted, a lot of these games are, but. Um, oh, penguin bowling. Yeah, I remember that. 
help Scratch get his nuts? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> that was a little. That was his little name. It was funny. Scratch. Oh, you play as the squirrel. Uh, the squirrel versus wolves. The and squirrel you can win. <laughs> the squirrel was like. <laughs> Tell me you have ADHD without telling me you have ADHD. Right. <laughs> the squirrel's all over the place in the movies and everything. He's just like super hyper. But it's funny. You played the squirrel the whole time. That's interesting. To ride different things. Kind of in the same way that the uh, um, Nicktoons one look, uh, like it could be fun. I think I'd probably rather play that than this, but Nicktoons does seem like it's it's fun. Oh no, polar bears! Please, bro, burn some burn some coal. <laughs> You gotta take out those polar bears, right? His name is Scratch. Yeah, he and looks. He's his nuts. Yes, yes, it's true. <laughs> All right. Well, so that looks like it could be. It could be a little bit fun. Um. Yeah, I'm kind of mad on that, but uh, there you go. It's probably a fairly easy set. Um, if you like 3D platformers, if you uh, hear out of their options, you know, there you go. Um, next up, we've got another Disney game. Um, we've seen quite a few of these, quite a few of these on the site. Um, you know, Aladdin, um, Tailspin, um, all the uh, Disney afternoon stuff. Here we've got Beauty and the Beast. Which mm -hmm. I didn't even know they made Beauty and the Beast video games. So this is kind of interesting. Tell as old as time. <laughs> There's apparently a Super Nintendo one and another Genesis one. I applaud you for reading right through that. It was horrible. I'm I'm getting ready for <laughs> I'm getting ready for one of the one of the games that's gonna be on this list. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll we'll talk about that one. We'll <laughs> that uh Enchanted Bear. Hmm. Interesting. This game's uh, hard. Yo, I, I never, like, I've seen this game a million times over Slippy, and people have pushed this game. I've never played it. I never had any interest in playing any Disney game. And it's from Sunsoft, so Sunsoft's kind of decent, I guess? Yes. It's usually, I mean, they've got a pretty good record. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, I don't know if it is Sunsoft. This is Sun Corporation of America and the developer of Software Creations. So maybe gotcha. they're trying to get the rep. Maybe they're trying to steal the rep of Sunsoft by calling themselves. They're not Sunsoft. They're Sun Corp. And they're American. Oh, yeah, but then what are they? I don't think that's the Mega Drive. This um, is the Mega Drive one. It's Genesis slash Mega Drive. Maybe that's the Mega Drive cover. Beauty and the Beast. It looks like these guys are involved in a lot of Rugrats games, uh. Spider-Man games. All these guys are involved in Maximum Carnage. Hexen on... Solstice. Hexen. Separation Anxiety. Okay. Oh, so, of those course. Are some pretty we, bad beat-em-ups. We, <clears throat> we have the best games right here on NES and oh. SNES. The Incredible Crash Dummies. Those games should have been strapped into their own seats and driven into a wall. Oh, actually, I watched Manny play through one of those. It wasn't. It wasn't that bad. You know, it wasn't the greatest thing, but it wasn't. It's actually really? kind of interesting. Um. Oh, they make my uh my set. I have to do Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends and Barbie <laughs> uh Vacation Adventure. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Welcome in, Drake. 
classic Genesis fart music. The Crash Dummies Game Boy game is good, if I remember correctly. Interesting. I think the one I watched Manny play was on the NES. And it was, um, like, the controls were very, uh, slippery. Yeah. They're, like, riding around on a... They're on a wheels, you know? Um. Oh, wow. This has got awful music. Yeah, Cosmic, this is bad. <laughs> There's the bear. Enchanted bear. <laughs> wow, your attack has that much of a wind up? It, it really is like a, like a attack. small attack. Wow. Is there something wrong with that bear's face? He's enchanted. I, if, <laughs> if, I mean, if we're calling it these days enchanted, then I mean, I, I feel like that's, you know, we're getting a $10 game here and like a $2 bear. I mean, like, what is going on with this? I don't know. Wow, Beast is super weak, man. I feel like telling Beast Gaston could probably beat that bear faster than he could. Beast needs to eat more raw eggs. Nah. Is that Gaston? I, no, I think those are like Gaston. People from, uh... Village. Random villagers. You played both of them. In oh, maybe series. that's Gaston. That's Gaston. Yeah, I. You know, maybe if maybe if you need a jank game to put on somebody's list, this might uh, <laughs> this might do the trick for you. But uh, yeah, this does not look like a good game. Nope. Um, set looks set looks fine though. You know, if you need another platformer. If you want to like, if you want to have like all the Disney games on your list or something, you know, here's yet another one for you. Doesn't look super difficult. Um, just looks pretty jank. There you go. Uh, next up, we've got Dragon Quest V on the DS, a new set. Um, Goodies Glo Globetrotter. So I think this one is a basically collect everything, get a get every type of uh, item drop from different enemies. So there's probably going to be a lot of really easy ones. Um, and then there's probably going to be a lot of rare ones. So this would be a grind set. Very much a grind set. Yep. Yeah. So every everything's only worth five points, it looks like. You would think that they would, like, break it, break it into, uh, you know common drops and um oh wait no it's just obtain a drop from so it's not a specific item i'm looking okay so, so maybe this is this more one? just like i played the uh super nintendo version um about like a halfway through two-thirds of the way through something like that it's one of the better drag it's one of the best dragon quests um i really need to go back and play through it all but um, yeah, maybe this isn't so bad. I, maybe this is just basically get a drop from each creature. That's what it seems like. It's not specific ones. It's not. It's not even necessarily rare ones. Obtain a drop from. Yeah, it's just a drop. Hmm. Oh, well, there you go. If you haven't played, if you like uh, RPGs and you like the Dragon Quest games, I would highly recommend Dragon Quest Five. The, uh, the DS one, I think they had some nice uh, sprite remastering going on. There's a 3D one um, that is very different that I'd like to play at some point. I watched uh, Eevee play through some of it on PS2. I would highly recommend that one or the Super Nintendo one or this one. Um, all like any, any of the three, I would probably recommend as uh, good Dragon Quest games. And I like these. I like this one a little bit more than nine. 
Um, because I played I played one, two. Have I played three? I think I played three. And I played some of five, and I played some of six and nine and and eight. Some of eight. Uh eight and nine are the they're the um level five uh are the guys that make them. Um same guys who made uh same guys who do the Nino Cuny series. It's very pretty, and I think the story is better. The story is pretty decent. Um, but I don't know. I feel like they're. I got kind of bored with them, but um, the originals are great. Slippy oh, says so good this game. Yeah, the original Dragon Quest Five is great. Really. This one's on oh the DS. I'm just reading back through some of the, the comments here. I never never played any Dragon Quest games either. Oh, interesting. Slippy says for the uh, for the Beauty and the Beast games, there's a the Bell's Quest was released at the same time. So like you could play so maybe like Pokemon, you know, instead of blue or red, it was pick beauty or beast. <laughs> but uh, I guess Bell's Quest had a set before. Yep, so. it does. And uh, Drake, Drake is right. There's a hack here that's uh, Metroid. We don't usually go into the hacks, um, just because, yeah, you know, we're we're, we're kind of keeping it to the main games. But uh, you can look into that one. It's a GBA, so it's probably a um, probably a hack of the of Metroid Fusion. Probably, probably looks like it. Pretty short. The bells, bells quest. That Slippy was talking about. Um, there's only a 10 achievements in it, so it's pretty easy. And you get this fancy little, um, what is it, achievement icon that's Bell. Netflix made this game into an anime. Are you talking about um, Dragon Quest V, uh, Slippy? Because I know there's Dai, uh, Dai's Great Adventure, Dai no Dai Boken. Um, which was originally in the 80s. I have that. It was series. a game that came out for that too. They just released. I think it was released on the Switch. They made a game all mm -hmm. about that anime show. Yeah, we haven't we haven't really been going over homebrews and hacks just just because mm -hmm. we usually get enough items to go through, and it's it's just something we can happily filter out and and not worry too much about it. Um, especially because some of the hacks, some of the hacks and some of the homebrews are pretty bad. Um, I mean, we do, there, there are the occasional ones that are kind of fun. Like we did the, the coffee bar quest. We did the, uh, space schools was pretty good. And, um, oh, there was one other one when we played the, uh, the one that became a Genesis game or they, they, it was like a, a group of people, an indie group put together a game and backported it to Genesis. It was that, um. Uh, kind of Halloween themed one. Do you remember the one I'm talking about? Um, kind of a Metroidvania, but you go through different stages, and you had like a dodge roll. For what system? It was backported to Genesis, but it was like created in the 2000s, and then they it was on. It's on Steam as well. Damn, I don't know. Um, Zash, I think Zash did the did the badge for it. Waifu Clicker? No, not Waifu Clicker. Waifu Clicker is fun. <laughs> That's a homebrew too. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know the name of that one. Oh boy, Runeberg or Mornberg or something. Anyway. Oh, um, yeah, that's it. That's it. Demon of Demons of Ash Ashburger. Ash no, not that. Um, Demons of of Ash Ashborg. Ash Ashstiporg or Ashstiporg. It was some like of that. that. Yeah. <laughs> Look anyway, at this. <laughs> that was decent. That was a decent game. Too. It was pretty good. Uh, next up here, we've got SingStar on the PS2. I, I would like to focus on the comments first. So on the we, comments. First. Yes. If we scroll all the way down to Cassie's comment, I find it funny because Cassie's comment says, "Time to get well, a copyright strike." Yep. <laughs> well, <it's not. laughs> Cuz this thing is it, this is non-streamable. It has to be non-streamable. 
I just yeah, this is gonna have a lot of songs, a lot of pop songs and whatnot from probably like two thousands, two thousand ten music. Yep. Um, so probably I don't know what was what was popular back then, like what Britney Spears, I... Aqua. Maybe I guess that's more nineties. Scandalous. Um, uh, geez. Um, Ricky. I feel like Ricky I've Martin. I blinked my blinked my head out of so much of two thousands music. I'm never I, gonna you know, give even... you up. Never gonna t- oh boy. Oh Rick Astley. Yep, what? he's in there. That bad a song. <laughs> it's really not that bad. Oh, it's like a virgin. Madonna. Oh yeah, so Madonna. Old right now. Um. Ooh, that was take like eighties. Uh, yeah, What's it's that? it's a mix. Yeah, because it's got eighties and then seventies. Slippy's one of Slippy's favorite songs is uh, everybody was kung fu fighting. Do 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> That one's that one's in here. Um, you could play with the sound off. Well, yeah, but you'd still be singing, and you might get you might suspicious. You might get lines. copyright struck for singing. Um, you know, too much of a a pop song. Um, Careless whisper. Yeah. I'm I'm. Oh my! No 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 no. Uh, yeah, get the party started. Oh, Scandalous. Why downtown? C A. Like a virgin. Okay, so it's not really 2000s music, even though it came out in 2000. It's mm-hmm. it's a lot of like you know, top 40s of the last 20 years, 40 years. It's uh, like that. the songs were alright. I believe in a thing called love. Oh boy, man, I'm probably I'm I'm probably going to at least attempt this, and drive my whole family out of the house when I do. <laughs> so gosh I'm, I'm, a, I'm actually anxious and i was looking at the comments below and they said that um you could do karaoke games now on a ps2 emulator and apparently you could hook up a microphone singstar microphones are configured under controllers usb port one on pcsx2 so if i might have to get the the microphone i will i'll try it out there you go my uh, my tolerance for karaoke games is the uh, Yakuza mini games. I, <laughs> I enjoy those. Um, those are basically the same as like a DDR, though. They're not really, they're not really karaoke. You're not singing into the mic or anything. Uh, you know, I might do Takashi's Challenge at some point, uh, which has the has the microphone. But um, there's actually a button you can push that does like random random noise into the microphone. So. Um, I think on that one you have to actually score. You're intended to score a low score for the karaoke. Right. I would say bring up a video, but that would be a really bad idea. Slippy says you don't really get DMCA hit. They just turn off the replay on your VOD, and if you aren't an affiliate, you don't have to worry about it at all. Oh, um, I mean, you say that, but I've had I've had like my VODs. Um, I've had my YouTube VODs muted. Um, when I, not that I've done karaoke, but, uh, sometimes I'll have music on just sort of random stuff when I'm on AFK and I've had that muted. Um, they muted my so entire, me. they muted my entire stream of, um, oh, what was it? Uh, Magic Knight Ray Earth because of the opening song. Uh, yeah. When I played a uh, Star Ocean Divine Force, if, if I ever let the intro to song to that play, they'll mute it. So. It's not a penalty per se. It's not like a DMCA strike. You're you're right, Flippy, but it is annoying, and it's just something to be something to be um, forewarned about, I suppose. If you want, you know, if you want your own sound, your own, you know, whatever you're saying on a on a VOD or whatever, to uh, to be able to go through. So. Yeah, and Slippy, and remember, you... remember, you used to do "Welcome Home" on the drums. They they completely took muted that on uh twitch and on youtube so oh tokyo extreme racer 3 never played this one before uh, right but i mean that would be the issue is they might mute it so anyways um right it would be the vod right um next up here we've got tokyo extreme racer uh number three on ps2 so this is yeah, obviously a racing game um 
Let's see. Uh, got a quest mode, so I want you to get through the different races there. Um, I'm guessing this, these might be like names of like enemy vehicles or cars they're, or something. Yeah, they're gangs. The little rolling. It's this. It's essentially the same set as Tokyo Extreme Racer Zero. Like oh right, right, right. The rolling guys and the road to justice and all this. Rats like a a group. Um, the leaders like you would beat like three or four of their guys. <clears throat> they would flash the lights behind you, and then you would do kind of like a point to point challenge, like a time trial or something. Um, that's about it. And then like as you go, you get money, you get pink slips. You upgrade the cars. I, I don't know what set of cars are in this one. Like, I never played this one before. But the last... There are a lot of games to beat here. There's a... Uh, like, wow, have 10. Have a 10 win streak in quest mode. Um, Beat 5 minutes. Uh, 6 minutes. 3 minutes. Wow. Lasted for more than 3 minutes. Less than 1% health left. Uh, uh, losing only a small amount. 1% max. So normally what your health is, like if a car gets ahead of you and it really gets like drastically ahead of you, you start losing like SP, which is what they call health. Um, and you mm. have to catch up to the car or beat the car in order to do that. So you might have to let the car get really ahead of you and then like start taking the car out um, for SP. Gotcha. So those might be pretty tricky to get. It looks like people have already got them though, so they're they're maybe not that bad. Um, and there's a lot of time trial ones here. Looks like somebody's. Looks like at least one person is going through and getting a lot of these though. Yeah, so this is time trial mode. Driving the default car. Interesting. It looks like this was a combo of uh, different devs working on it, since there's a special links here. That's a large set. It is. It's huge. There you go. So if you like if you like racing games, this might be up your alley. So I don't know if uh, Wolfie's around, but um, I know he was into some of these ones. Be of interest. Uh. Uh, next up here, we got Contra Shattered Soldier. So I want to see Knocker the, uh, play this one. I think this was the 2.5D one, um, which I think was not uh, received quite as well as a lot of the earlier Contras. It is. It looks. It looks like the 2.5D. It's a crazy set, though. Clear mission seven on normal difficulty while using only a machine gun. Clear mission Oof. three. Yeah. Doesn't look like they're actually doing the hard difficulty here, though. It's all normal. Probably the game is as hard as it can be. And normal's, you know... Norm Never normal. crouch. <laughs> normal difficulties. Crazy. Yeah, so stick with the machine gun for some of these, and then never crouch for some of these. Um, and then deathless. Lots of deathless achievos. Classic control. But it's kind of kind of crazy that they don't have the higher they don't have achievos around the higher difficulties. But uh, we could take a look at this one. Contra Shattered Soldier PS2 gameplay. Oh wow. Oh, this is not the one I was thinking of. Huh. No, maybe it is. Okay. 
but it, it's got some PD stages and it's got some 2D stages, but they're using this kind of, um, you know, they're using 3D stuff. So it looks, it kind of reminds me of Einhander a bit. I mean, different style. But, uh... Well, this guy's not gonna earn the, the no crashing achievement, that's for sure. So if you're into Contra, you might check this one out. Um, definitely a very challenging set as Contra games are. I would I don't think the graphics have aged very well on this one compared to you know like just the more regular Contra style on like you know the two D the the two D styles of like Contra, Super Contra, Contra three. Um, Contra I think I've seen four. Knocker do something with missiles when he was playing Contra. He did that flawlessly though. Knocker. Oh wow, this looks pretty decent. Yeah, uh, definitely got some interesting style here. I gotta say, it's, it's the kind of game that would be kind of grossed me out, so it's not my cup of tea, but. Like I said, if you like the Contra series, I mean, I like I like Contra, the Super Contra. So. And you said this one wasn't received very well, right? I don't think so. It's been it's been a while, but I think I remember one of the ones that was coming out with more uh, 3D style graphics was not received as well. Um, it might have been this one. I think there's a later one too that's got like a samurai dude. And it's um, a lot less like regular Contra. Um, and this one's still very much in the Contra style of the types of fights you're having. Um, forgetting what the other one was, but there's, there's one where you got like some samurai dude, and you're like, I think most of the combat in that one is more like a 3D over-the-shoulder action adventure. Um, Oh look, it's the it's the fish from uh, the the Dreamcast game, second <laughs> game. Seaman, Seaman, starring um, Spock, Leonard Nimoy. Yeah, Leonard Nimoy. You were you were too unreasonable, too much emotion. So he has to he has to take you out now. <laughs> All right, so there you go. If you uh if you like the Contra games, you've already done. You already badge Contra, Super Contra, and Contra Three, and some of the other ones. Then uh, here the you go. badge you looks super one. cool, though. Yeah, the badge looks nice. There's no way I'm not good to do that. So, <laughs> uh, next up, we got. Um, I actually saw Manny working on this one. Um, this is another Professor Oak's challenge. This one was for Pokemon Gold on the Game Boy Color. Oh, subset. Yeah, I don't know if it's a hack or if that's the real a real one. It looked like essentially the uh, Pokemon Yellow, um, but like a special edition of it. Um, but I think this one was basically uh, catch all the creatures when you're the first time. Essentially, um, catch the creatures when uh, catch all the creatures in an area before leaving that area and moving onward is, I think, the way the Professor Oak challenges work. Um, so yeah, you got stuff like, uh, 
here's the Bugsy, I think is one of the, the gym leaders. And uh, there's 67 possible Pokemon to have collected before you fight him and defeat him. So it's basically, you know, catch them all and catch them all within the period of time. The first, the first time you can find them. Yes, Manny is grinding as we speak. So let's uh, let's toss him a shout out since we're since we're talking about him. But yeah, I think this is very much a, a catch them all achievement. So there's going to be one achievo per Pokemon, and then one achievo per boss um, that's based on you know defeating them, having in your inventory already the all possible Pokemon up to that point. So I feel like this is a uh, um, this is probably the way I, I would want to go to play the game anyway. Um, definitely the the way I tried to play it uh, when I played the game originally. Um, because it was all about catch them all, right? Um, so it's it's an interesting set of uh, set of subsets. An interesting set of subsets, yeah. Yeah, many goes. Thing of, uh, many goes after all the Pokemon games when they come out. Yes, that he does. Um, and next up we've got Nightmare Two. I mean, just double check that there hasn't been any more since we started. Looks like not. Uh, so this is a game I hadn't heard of until today. It's a platformer for uh, from Konami for the MSX. And uh, I actually booted this one up and started a little bit. So this was the one I was going to play tonight. Um, it looks, it looks kind of like... Uh, um, what would I say? It's, it's sort of a, a Metroidvania-ish game. You're wandering about and gathering different items and... Um, yeah, looks looks kind of fun. So I figured I'd uh, I'd give this a go. Um, there's definitely some like minimalist minimalist style achievements here. Um, collection achievements. Um, I guess uh, get spells. These are both called one. This is probably supposed to be two though. Um, right, and you get you get two different characters you can swap between, and they they have different color palettes, but they are otherwise looking the same. I guess one is supposed to be uh, Opalon, and one is Aphrodite. Well, since but, we're going to uh, see you play this, <clears throat> don't think it makes sense for us to put a video up. I do like the box art. Yeah. Box art looks awesome. Dash said it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've already started it, so <laughs> I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try a little bit of on stream here in a bit. Um, but for now, let's move to the next the next segment, which is to go through the uh, following list and um, check out what people have been up to in our community here. So we want to go for the weekly, and we want to go to last week. Uh, put it to sometime, anytime in that week. And let's go bottom to top this time. Bum, bum, bum. So first we got Coach. What has Coach been up to? Oh, looks like he booted up Animaniacs. Been playing some Golden Axe. Arrow the Eight, the Acrobat. Is this one that you suggested to him, Knocker? You know, if uh, I think that was the first game you suggested I play. Um, first time I was on a Free Play Friday or something. I was looking through the, gen the Genesis Tosex set. You could tell Knocker's right there with Mr. Nuts. <laughs> oh, yeah, he did. He loaded it up. Doesn't look like he got very far with it. Looks like he loaded up a bunch of different things. But once he played through to any great degree, tried Loco Roco, got a couple of Chivos. Yeah, Animaniacs is Knocker. Arrow the Acrobat's Knocker. <laughs> Mr. Nuts. Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, Sonic Chaos. Right, right, right. I think that's the S... Oh, that's a Game Gear one. I think there's a SMS one of this, too, um, that pulls badged recently. Um, has an Escape from Mars. Oreo Land 4. GBA. Yeah, I think I, I think we caught some streams of him playing this one. 
Coach has been coach has been busy. <laughs> Malker says, I don't dictate what coach will do. Yeah. <laughs> probably give him some ideas here and there though. Oh, Mr. No. Saiyan, I know you I know you batched something this week. Oh I did, yes, I did. Your first your very first badge. Yes, from the there sexy the sexy redhead lady. One of us. One of us. <laughs> one of us. That's a good Welcome movie. It, that that movie would never survive today, but <laughs> it's a good movie. It's a good movie. Yeah, I did that. I mean, I got pretty pretty far in Pinball of the Dead because I'm coming after Cosmic for his score, and I almost got it somewhat. Links, I've been having a lot of fun with. So it's really yeah, Link's Awakening. Yeah, I mean, I was gonna, I gotta go back tonight and do the uh, other boss. That's tricky because that one is the. That's easy. It's that one million that's gonna be a pain. I asked uh, Katsuni about that, and him and I are trying to figure out like the one million. Um, RVK did it, so. I was like, all right, let me let me try this one out and let's see how it is. But Valus is jank, so it, it it's going to be interesting to see how I handle Valus. Looks like you got to at least try to Act 2. So there you go. I got to Act 2, and I was going pretty strong with Act 2. So, But Link's, Link's Awakening's taking precedence, and then I'm going to do Link's Awakening DX. But Link, Link's Awakening, it's all the bosses, damageless. Um, and Pinball of the Dead, that game is extremely fun. It It's, I probably played that game for close to about five hours today and just had nothing but fun in that game. Keep the good times rolling, man. Yes, we will. We will be seeing more badges from me. <laughs> All right. Looking forward to it. I did. I did badge a game. All right, I need Ooh, something through the night badge. Yes, indeed. Um, so here's a uh, cosmic. So cosmic was asking for some request games earlier. So I suggested Front Mission because it's a uh, because I think a lot of us like the mecha games and we talked about it here and there. And this one's a tactics game. Um, it's one of the first games I played. Um, I was eager to get to play uh, when I started dealing with emulators because it was Japan only release. And there's some, uh, I think there's one or two different translations out there. Only one of them is supported by Retro Achievements right now. But um, would highly recommend for anybody who likes the uh, um, tactics tactics games and mecha games. Uh, there's a lot of customization of your mechs in this one, too. So you get to buy parts, and you can make your mech into, like, a uh, more of a tank or, you know, like a sniper build or um, melee build. It's pretty interesting. Well, good. Cosmic says he's enjoying it. Um, and of course, Pinball of the Dead. I'm not saw, touching we saw, Pugsley. <laughs> we saw um, on the Challengers Arena, Cosmic currently has the ranking score on that. So yep. I was expecting that he'd got uh, quite a few of the achievements on the way to that. So mm -hmm. good job, sir. And uh, yeah, looking at, you're about halfway there for the badge. A little, maybe a little less than halfway, but. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a score to beat, but I'm I'm working on it. Front mission is the Mad Mooch, um, the Mad Nooch. It's a great series. Yeah, yeah, I like it a lot. Um, some of the later entries aren't quite as good. I feel like I think um, four up to four was pretty good. I haven't played two yet, so I'm looking to do that at some point. And there was the there was the side scroller Gun Hazard, which I hear is also quite good. I have the soundtrack for it. The soundtrack for this one's amazing. I haven't actually played this one yet, but um, yeah. And then DuckTales. Um, Cosmic and I both started playing some DuckTales together um, on uh, on Discord um, after Foxy gave it to me as a um, as a request game. And it's, uh, it's a lot more challenging than I thought it was going to be, but um, it's a good game. Good game. Kind of Kind of hate how easy it is to lose your pogo um, if you land if you land wrong, but um, just something to get used to. Uh, next up, we got Theo. Let's see what Theo's been up to. 
I've been playing some Donkey Kong Country. Country. Sonic Adventure. That's a huge set. Mad. Yeah. Maui Mad Mallard and Cold Shadowed. Cold. Or Maui Mallard. Yeah. Or that's oh, Mad. the Goonies. On the NES. The Goonies. Is, the there an ach- is there an achievement in there? Survive the theme song being played over and over again? Um, I don't know. Because that theme song from Cindy Lauper plays a lot. It It's the entire soundtrack of the game. Hmm. It, it's rough. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, some good games here, some classics. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Lexi. I think Lexi, Lexi's mostly been working on Sunset Riders. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a pretty tough one. Um, good game. Looks like a lot of fun. But uh, hard mode on that is hard indeed. Uh, she hasn't got the 1cc for it. Oh, wait. These are on normal or hard. Okay. So you don't have the 1cc hard. You just have to get you have the 1cc normal. But then you do have to, you have to win on hard. Hey, Foxy. Welcome in. Uh, still haven't even beaten Maui Mallard yet. Rockstar Lurksy. The Maui Mallard set is terrible. All right. Yeah, so we uh we went through the new sets, Foxy, and we're just going through the uh we're lurking, not lurking, but stalking, stalking the community here, seeing what people have been up to. We're currently looking at uh, Rockstar Lexi, so. <laughs> Looks like she's been working on the GBA port of Sonic the Hedgehog, Mega Man 2, Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2. Now, see, I would have expected Lexi, who is the resident uh, um, Sonic aficionado in our in our community, I would have expected her to have these done long ago. Oh, ho, ho. But I, don't, I don't know how difficult those sets are. Well, <laughs> she's wow, does she have a lot of Sonic badges? She do. She do. Night Slippy. She's not a fan of the 3D ones. Oh, well, that's understandable. They're they're very much their own thing. Look at Cassie and Drake. Uh, got the next group here. Cassie has been working on some hacks. Oh, Legend of Zelda hack. Booted up Seventh Saga. And Sunset Riders. Two. Little Samson, Sunset Riders. Yeah, I think uh, I think she was probably watching Lexi and was like, "Oh, I bet I could beat this," and maybe a little bit more difficult than it than it might seem. Metal Warriors. I think I saw her stream in this one the other day. She was playing like uh, um, requests, so just uh, just booting up a little bit of different games and playing a little bit here and there. Um, I think this one is like a Minesweeper one. I should probably play this one at some point. Because I used to rock Minesweeper. I've actually uh, coded up my own Minesweeper before. Um, it's kind of a classic. It's it's a good classic game to try and remake. Um, if you're Mine doing sweeper? sort of like a... Yeah, it's kind of yeah. like a Hello World of gaming in some ways. I like Minesweeper. Foxy says he's just doing revisions and partials for now. Got to get back to Jade soon. Yeah, Knocker. I think Knocker mentioned um, you're doing a. You were going back to Jake Cocoon on the daily to try and get that some of those um, rare, uh, rare bugs or rare uh, eggs or whatever. So good luck on that, sir. I know I've. Uh, I had some major issues in entry and Odyssey getting some of the rare drops, so I know how that can be. It's, uh, it can be real grind. And then Mr. Drake. Um, just got Metroid 2. That was what he did. That was what he badged last week. Bit by bit every day. Yep. It really bugs him. Yes, indeed. Or Tetris. <laughs> yeah, Tetris. Tetris is another game that's, uh, if you're ever trying to, to start, like, developing games, um, making your own Tetris is not a bad start, either. Which is the last one for California he needs? <clears throat> Uh, get to the finish line and BMX without falling off your bike. Ooh, okay. 
yeah, California Games is a pretty fun little little set of mini games, but uh, yeah, that uh, BMX part is, can be kind of tough. And Fantasy Star, I'm pretty sure you've you batched this a while ago, so you probably booted this up because I know we were we were both watching Hardcore go through Fantasy Star. Um, he's working on that run right now, kind of tearing his hair out with uh, Bayou Malay. But um, I think we were we were both trying to give some advice here and there. Hopefully, it was helpful. Terrible joke. Yeah, but uh, congratulations, Drake, on uh, mm. Metroid Two. Got the uh, just recently got the speedrun achievements on that one. Um, and Manny, we were talking about Zash. Oh wait, uh, I'm going backwards here. We should be going from the bottom up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so next to the list here is Hardcore. Right, and as we were talking about, Hardcore is playing Fantasy Star. Um, still working every now and then on NES Final Fantasy and um, a lot of arcade games. It looks like he booted up uh, Megami Tensei too. A lot of Dragon Quest, Advance Wars, yeah. Galago. Wizardry. Yeah, he did badge Dragon Warrior on NES, so still working on I think he's working I think this is the Game Boy Color one. Yeah. Game Boy Color one and two and just two. Yep. So he's been busy. Got with only seconds to spare. Yeah, yeah. So it was a three an achievement to get under three hours and you were at two fifty nine and some seconds. So huge congratulations on that one. Look at RVK and Knocker. So RVK has been playing that uh, fairly odd parents game. I think that was a relatively recent one. I think we covered that one like maybe a month ago, month and a half ago. Um, Guardian Force. I saw uh, Pulse go. Or no, no. I'm thinking of Guardian. Uh, Guardian Heroes, different game. Guardian Force was a recent one too. What does this um, game look like? Guardian Force. Mm-hmm. I think it's a shoot 'em up. Uh, Guardian Force Saturn gameplay. Oh, it is a shmup. Yep. That's kind of bad for a Saturn game. I mean, music's good and all, but this looks like a game that could be on like a like Game Gear. Yeah, I just... Yeah, I'm not a horse. Yeah. I mean, I play for the music, and it's still... So, it's a fine-looking game, it's just like... Saturn could do a lot more than this. <laughs> yeah, Saturn could do way more than this. Not... Yeah, not what we're seeing right now. Anyways. And Knocker. Uh Mr. Knocker. Yeah, he was already on he's already Wow. You're like two thirds of the way through Pugsley. I know the hardest one is probably gonna be that um uh one heart the one heart uh run one CC. That's gonna be the the real pain in the neck, but uh still really impressive that you got all these other ones so far. Um doing the, the money collection stuff's no uh no joke. So good job on that, sir. What rank is he on on RA? Uh, he's climbing up there. He's 127 right now. Wow. Uh, with 53,000 points. Has not been done no, Splatterhouse? Uh, points, 100,000. 100,510. Uh, I'm not going to try and look through that, that list. Have you done Splatterhouse? Uh, Yeah. Or I, that or Genesis, whichever one Sarconius was doing. Yeah, I think Sarconius just did the PCE one. Trash Deathless Hard the other night. Yeah, that was gross. I was watching that and I'm like, oh man, that's that's bad. Yeah, he got he got every Chivo except the Deathless, um, in like the first hour and a half, and then he spent the next six hours trying to get the Deathless. Ugh, that was rough. I think it was six hours. It might have been only five. My, uh, he did, um, um, 
I was gonna say you did guts rage after that too. Got pretty far on that, so probably a bit cathartic. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like, uh, yeah, you, you recently badged Metal Gear Solid. I think that was last week you badged, this last week you badged Metal Gear Solid. Mm -hmm. um, still got, um, getting real close on the X6 collection, too. Or X, uh, X6 subset. So, good job, man. Awesome work. Uh, let's see. VCG, Foxy. Let's see what VCG and Foxy have been up to. So I think uh, VCG's been kind of sick lately. I think he got the got another run of the Rona, um, which is not not good. Um, but he's been working on looks like Mega Man Two and that oh the Wonder Swan version of Final Fantasy IV. So I think he uh, I think he recently got the PlayStation One Chronicles version. Um, did he finish that one? I thought I saw him working on that one too. Yeah. Oh, looks like he did. He batched it. Cool. Still working on the Donna Souls one. He got the uh he got the subset for this one of the solo um you know, beat the game with just one one fighter, one healer, one, you know, the where you're just doing one uh character. He did the solo subset. That was pretty that was pretty crazy. But it looks like he's he did that before he did the regular set. And now he's working on Final Fantasy IV on Wonder Swan. Cool. Probably do it eventually because PC Engine, but eh. <laughs> but I guess that's about You spent three days on getting one bonus Chivo. That's rough. Yeah. I mean, those are all, you know, 25, 50, 100 pointers. So. Ooh, DuckTales. We got Foxy. You haven't batched this yet, or did this get a revision? I swear, I've seen you. I've seen that you had batched this before. I guess this must have gotten a revision or something, right? Oh, revision. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's uh, uncovering all the treasure. I was trying to get um. Uh, the ones in in um, what is it in that first stage, the two that are on the bridge are like the the real pain in the butt, um, to get the two diamonds or whatever that are like on the bridge that falls down in um the Amazon. That first stage is a real real pain in the butt to get, but um, I'm surprised they didn't have those chivas before. But he had only 50% of the achievements. Oh, wow. Himalaya one is rough. The silly spider jump is pretty rough. Oof. Uh, Snowboard Kids. We've seen you play on that one. Sonic Jam. Fun one. Uh, oh, I see. That's the Game Boy one, too. Okay, so you've already... You have mastered... You have mastered the NES one that you're working on the, the Game Boy one. And the Super Spy, that's our uh that's our review game for this week. Pimp All the Dead, that's our challenge one. I'm kind of surprised you haven't dived into this one. Because you are you are kind of a, a pinball wizard of our in our little scanlands community. But, uh, oh and I guess uh, this one's probably going to be tomorrow. Probably back to this one. Oh, wow. Getting What's left? Uh, second quest without using a continue. So one CC second quest. And then complete complete even just the first one without dying deathless. So that's pretty rough. That's the that entire section. game. Yeah, the, the bridge section is pretty RNG heavy. And there's, there's certain ones that you're just going to die, you know, no matter what, uh, if, you get, if you get bad RNG. I never understood so. that. <clears throat> I always thought they should have put that one in a subset. Um, I mean, it's it's just it's deathless. It's it's you know, along the same lines as continuing as a one CC. I don't know. I I feel like it's it you are it's part of mastering the game. So I I don't think it's necessarily unfair to have in the regular set, but it it definitely should be a hundred pointer if it's not. 
I think it is a hundred pointer though. For Super Castlevania Four. Yeah, it's a hundred pointer. It's it's worth the hundred points. But uh, yeah. You're not a pinball wizard. Come on, I've seen you play Pokemon pinball. You you do okay. You're maybe not Sark level, but you're you're a lot better than almost anybody else in our little community here. For the most part. I mean, uh, it looks like uh, Cosmic might have the crown for this week. We don't Probably know yet. We know. don't know yet. That's still out. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll bring up mine. Um, I haven't really been playing my main game as much. Um, I'm still working on... I haven't I haven't been back to play Etrian Odyssey 2 in like a month and a half, two months, something like that. But I've been playing some of the... Uh, uh, request games. So I played a bunch of uh, DuckTales, and I played our review game and Badger review game last week, so that was kind of fun. I booted up Front Mission to make sure it worked. I booted up Ghost Super Mikami, because you wanted me to try try damage list on the last boss. <laughs> uh, I didn't quite get that. Um, been working off and on on the uh, um, 50, 50 Fruits for Packland from uh, Knocker. That one's pretty rough. You basically have to get through... Um, like round eight, which is, I think the water stage of like trip three or water stage of trip four, something like that. Yeah, basically you have to get through that deathless and pick up most of the fruit to get to fifty fruit on that level. So I've, I think I've gotten I've gotten up to like stage two or three of uh, around two or three of trip three. So like the stage before the water stage, Ooh. Um, like the town. Girls but... in motion. Uh yeah yeah so girls in, so this is one of the uh the jigsaw puzzle games it's a cheesecake game it's girls in bikinis um unfortunately only only like one of them is actually kind of cute but it's uh I don't know kind of a fun jigsaw game um the painful part is that uh there's a bunch of these daily puzzles so you have to change your system time to access the puzzle so you have to keep like Change your system time, boot up the game, do that day's puzzle, turn off the game, turn around, um, change your system time again, boot it up again, and so on. And um, Google will actually not allow you to connect to a lot of things. Like, I can't connect to my Gmail if my time is off too much. Oh, wow. So <laughs> I found to my, uh, also Twitch, Twitch uh, uh, throws a fit if you are, like, if it says that you're like a year behind or a couple months ahead. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I've been working on jigsaws during my during my uh, work meetings and while well on standby and stuff and Tetris. And I keep grinding away at that one. How's a just... busy town? Yeah, I started this one up because uh, Drake and I were talking about it. And it's just uh, we both are fans of the Richard Scary stuff. We grew up, I grew up reading the... Um, there are these like huge uh, atlas sized books of the Richard Scarry's busy town. So I was like, ah, I should check that out for, for, um, you know, nostalgia factor. And there's like, you know, like four mini games and I've done two of them. So it's fine. It's not super fun. It's kind of boring, but it's fine. It's like, it's very, you know, like a three out of five game, two out of five game. Yeah. Game is pretty fun. Um, I've almost badged this one. This is the other Jigsaw one I've been working on now and there, here and there. So, probably have that soonish. And then I started on this one. Uh, let's see, we were talking about Manny. I think we already went through what Manny was doing. Um, I have to look at Zash and Chrono and Wise. Wow, does that have a lot of badges? Oh, Polestar. Yeah, so he badged the uh, Neo Geo CD version, and he's been working on the arcade version. So that's cool. Soul of Darkness. Yeah, like every game working... he plays, he badges. Mm-hmm. A 2D platformer. I feel like we talked about this one at some point. Like, I think this was a... This one uh, was a new one 
a new set. Um, oh, it's a DSi game. Mm-hmm. DSiWare? Yeah. This is Soul of Darkness DSi. Let's look, let's look up this one. Castlevania vibes right here. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh wow, does this look good? It's really cool. And this is called what? Soul of Darkness? Soul of Darkness on DSI. I'm gonna have to check this one out. Definitely add that one to my list. Yeah, maybe we didn't. Maybe this is a uh, not one we talked about so far. Looks like Chrono did this one too. Interesting. And he's almost badged uh, Twinkle Star Sprites. That's another really good one that we covered earlier on Neo Geo CD. There you go. And then Chrono, uh, Chrono started working on the Superstar stuff alongside of Pulse. So this is uh, one of the Mario and Luigi um, RPG games. Lexi was going to play this, but streaming it caused lag. Oh, wow. For the uh, Soul of Darkness. Interesting. <laughs> Fun if you're like six. <laughs> oh, for the for the scary town. Kari town. Or Richard's Kari. <laughs> Busy town. But yeah, it looks like he got the, uh, he badged the regular game, and then he um, is going on the subset here for the uh, perfect dodges. Because yeah, in the, um, in the Super Mario, in the RPG series for Paper Mario, Super Mario RPG, Mario and Luigi, uh, if you hit the, the jump button or the crouch, like, defend button at the right moment um, during combat, you uh, don't take damage. So, there's a whole subset here of Perfectly dodging at right, just the right minutes against uh, certain bosses. So that's cool. Solar Darkness, I hit that one. That's you saw it was playing it and had to play it with your kid. Cool. Which game? Maybe. We, um, Drake. Drake's talking about uh, the Richard Scarry's Busy Town. Oh, okay. The the Genesis educational game. So, looks like he and I are probably going to badge that one. I might. I, I loved Busy Town, so I might go after it. What is the... I'll, I'll look at the badge later. Yeah, it's really easy. It's, you know, it's nothing to... It's not really like a, oh, look at me. It's Barney I did easy. something hard, you know. It's, but it's whatever. It's it's fun. Um, Here's Wise. Wise has been tearing it up. Um, oh, every wow. time he look plays, he... Hellfire. Oh wow! What's the last one he needs for Hellfire? Um, finish finish the, game. the game. Oh man, I gotta give him props for that. That's 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 a hard game. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they only um they're only giving achievements here for just beating the the different yeah. levels and getting getting score. So like that says a lot for the difficulty. If they don't have like a one CC this game, beat that it game, on hard. That game's hard. Just beat the game if you have mastered the game. <laughs> And then Forgotten Worlds, which I think this was a, uh... oh, it's a shoot em up. I'm thinking of something else. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. There was some, maybe it's Another World is what I was thinking of. There's like an adventure game that had world in the title. Another World. Okay. Maybe it was that. Let's take a look at this one. This is like, this game plays exactly like Troubleshooter. Drake, <clears throat> good game, play it. Yep, identical to Troubleshooter. It's like the Impossible Giraffe Puzzle. You probably don't know that reference. I do not know that reference. Oh, interesting. So it's kind of like Legendary Wings meets R-Type? Um, if, if you look up Troubleshooter, you would say it's more like Troubleshooter. Than, than anything, if you haven't played Troubleshooter before. But this is, this is 
essentially the same. It, it's identical to Troubleshooter. I only play Troubleshooter when I'm at work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it It's pretty cool. It's like a, a different type of shmup. Um, they were going with games like this, like Troubleshooter, because of the, you know, different ways you can move around and shoot things, and it's pretty interesting. Oh. That's a crazy looking dragon. He's got, he's got his bones out. Yeah, you just do 360s with the flamethrower. Alright, well that's kind of interesting. Alright, so Rotten Worlds. Interesting. Hellfire, Punch Out. He's continued to work on that subset. Um, good on him. Rogue Rash, that's a classic. Twinkle Star Sprites, that's a fun one. Talked about that one before. Uh, looks like he's booted up a bunch of things, but maybe mm -hmm. not even there are the achievements for him. Blazing I'm, I'm happy to see game. that he's getting into the arcade stuff. So. Hopefully, ha I don't know if this means that he tried booting it up and wasn't able to get it to work, maybe. That's why he went to something else. But uh, I would love to see him try some of those really difficult arcade sets because, like, Wiseman is a really skilled player. Yeah, he is. Send us the link on Discord. Thank you, Drake. All right, I think that covers it for this week. So uh, that is... We went through the last week's set. We went through... We stocked, we stocked the following list. Um, it is time to uh, try out some of the new games. So I'm going to switch over to, I've been playing that Nightmare game. Um, so let me bring that back up here. Bum, bum, bum. Pop that over in Discord here. Stop sharing. Start sharing this one. <laughs> I like the music. I was <laughs> there we go. Uh, I'm gonna leave you with the intro. The intro was really good with this. I'm gonna take a bathroom break quick. Which game are you playing again? Oh, Into the Hunt. That's right. That's right. Aha, we got a key. So. For the uh, for the folks in the in chat, um, do any of the, these games catch your interest? Are you gonna give any of them a uh, shot this week? We looked through. We saw Into the Hunt. That one looked pretty cool. Um, playing some Nightmare 2 here. Just kind of kind of seems like a Metroidvania. Um, Oh, 
those look like omens from, uh, Nausicaa. Got a bell. Oh, whoops. Oh gosh, is it like a boss? Oh. I can't swim. Oh, dang it. I jumped! Oh, maybe I can swim. I don't know if I have limited air. Got a crack in this after me. Let's go. So I, I've been having, I've been having a lot of. I got to admit, I've been having a lot of fun with RA. It's been, it's cool. been fun to, fun to play. Okay. Well, I, I'm enjoying. Uh, oh, what is it? Um, Zelda. Zelda's a lot of fun. Classic for a reason. I saw Oracle, like um, Oracle of Seasons and Ages, and I'm like, oh, I need that. <sighs> this is such a great game, guys. Such a phenomenal game. So, so I don't know. It, it's stupidly expensive on Saturn for some reason. My shield up. That's a great key. Ah! And I'm off to an excellent start by dying. <laughs> I'm like, this is a great game. I can't even get within the first two minutes of it. game is ridiculously hard though I'm not even gonna lie it's it's a hard game in the hunt yeah it's it's a hard game there's a lot coming at you as you can see it's just oh, somebody really should have thought about this set when they made it but it is what it is Some button to use the key here. Oh, okay. Just space. Interesting.
I blew myself up. Yay! You're having a better time than I am. Oh, <laughs> that's my pause button. <laughs> Sits on a toilet. <laughs> oh, I got an achievement for that. <laughs> what was that achievement? Let's see. Falling in your toilet. Very embarrassing. <laughs> How are you supposed to get away from that? I mean, really. Interesting. Hold at least 250 coins at one time. Hold at least 250 keys. 250 ammo. Um, yeah, the hell with them going turbo. Find the crown. Uh, I gotta find a lot of stuff. I wonder if there's a, uh, a map for this game. So this is Nightmare 2 MSX. Sega Saturn. And again. Ah. So the Japanese name for this was Majo Densetsu 2. Um, which is like the, the Legend of the Witch 2. Interesting. And this and is on apparently... MSX. Yeah, the one I'm playing is on MSX. Apparently it was ported to NES, though. Oh? What's the name uh, of it on NES? Maze of Gallius, or Majo Densetsu 2. Never heard of either of them. Let's see. How to play this to help. Alright, this is what I'm talking about right here. Interesting. So the if you play the male or the female, the male can fire two arrow shots, the female can fire three. Um <laughs> the male can destroy rocks after three hits. The female can destroy it after 15. Wow. Um, interesting. Filling the experience meter. You, uh, you get experience every time you kill an enemy. Filling the meter will destroy your vitality. M. You hit M to use your secondary weapon. I understand to go, but where am I going to go? I'm going to get blown up. Right, I'm yelling at the game now. Great. Signs you're getting old. Aha. I figured out how to use my self weapon. Here we go. There we go. Now we can now we can take out the bats a little bit easier. Come here, bats. Come on up. Oh, now he's gone up here. There we go. That was way too many bullets for the but that's okay. It was vengeance on the bats. Oh, so many bats. I got more arrows. Oh, 
I wonder if you have to use Joel's logic for this game and just start at the top and just stick to the top. Oh, come on! More money! Sub is just too damn slow. Okay, this looks troublesome. Got amazing. It's got really good music. In the hunt? No, your game. Oh. Yeah, it's not bad for what it is. Five hundred deaths later. Stage two, the channel. There we go. All right. Can you switch from male to female? Uh, when the when both are alive, yes. You hit F one, and you can swap. So see here, it's the, she's in pink, and he's in, in blue or white. Oh, respective colors. supposed to Arrows. 
feasibly I don't think there's a way to do this damageless. But we'll we'll see. And here's the boss. Achievements. And grass. You're just popping them left and right over there. Really? I died a lot. Oh, please, let's not talk about dying. Did you see how many times I died? <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Rush to the top. Arm to the teeth. Another Achievo. That's great. Link was sent. I hope you enjoy their draft puzzle later. You will need an expert to do it for you. <laughs> Submitted high okay. score. Normal. Please tell me there's a continue on this. I got wormed. gameplay mechanics here. Would you um, badge it? Uh, it seems like it's going to be kind of tough, but um, I do I do like how many different elements are at work here. It's kind of like, a, you know, like you talk about uh, Legacy of the Wizard or Fox and Adu. Um, I'll probably do those before I do this, but this is interesting. Um, just got a lot of different things going on. A lot of different mechanics in play. Um, you're collecting keys kind of like you would in some other things. You have characters that have different uh, strengths and weaknesses. Um, oh, there's our arrows again. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't know if I can really recommend other characters somehow. Sure hope so. On madness, I could sink the damn ship, and I find madness easier than I did normal. Go figure. Huh. <laughs> no, no. I guess that worked backwards. I don't know what the bell is used for yet. I'm 
I'm, I feel like I'm having a bad feeling. I knew I was gonna get caught by one of those. I guess I can just grind these to get my health back. Maybe? I don't know if my XP is moving or not. I have common sense to drop down, blow those guys up. I kind of wonder if there's like secrets. This is a Konami game, so I'd expect there to be like wall meat or something. Probably. Maybe a hidden penguin somewhere. <laughs> there is no penguin level. Arrows do to this guy. It bounce off. Well, okay then. Here we got the bag. He said, "How cheese!" Wow. Oh, you suck. No. There's no achievement for beating the boss on madness. Ah, <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. Um, I'm just wasting ammunition at this point. Hmm. I can't defeat those guys permanently. Probably need a different item. Uh, stage one difficulty. Stage three, okay. Complete the game after using. It continued to see the first ending. Complete stage one without dying. Complete stage two without dying. Complete stage... Wow. playing this. No one's on high score on easy. I'm fourth for the high score on normal. And this guy... Four... Submits a continue game over after beating the game. Okay. Hmm. Alright, let's try to get a high score for madness. 
This guy's got 14... 14,900. Let's see if I could beat that. Well, the stage stinks. I died. Oh, come on. And I was so close. Like, the bridge is right up ahead. After the bridge is the, the boss. You want to know what did me in? I didn't have the damn homing missiles. That was it right there. Yeah. missiles are key in this game. If you get the homing missiles early in the stages, you're you just sit back like I did for the first um I did for the second boss on normal and you could just totally destroy the boss. Problem is is that now they're dropping a ton of bombs on you. I'm not gonna make it out of here if I don't get those homing missiles. Yeah, here we go. Maybe the worst bats I've ever encountered in any game. <laughs> really? They 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 go through walls, man. Like that's totally unfair. Oh wait, am I back at the start now? 
Alright, well. I guess we can farm our health back. Well, how long have we been going on stream now? About two hours, two and a half hours? Uh, two hours and thirty minutes. You wanna call it? Finish or... I don't, I, I don't mind playing this. <laughs> you haven't played with it in the I, I happen to love this game. It's just, I forgot how overly the top insanely hard this game really is. Submit at continue or game over after beating the game. Alright. Oh, well, I haven't died yet, so. The ruins will definitely send me to my death, and there's no question about that. Now here comes the worst part in the entire game. The rush. Oh no. Time to go platform with that. with some fish. Oh, there's a necklace. score. Why did it turn around? Grr. I have like no health left. Triangle. Yeah. <laughs> I just got killed by a fish. <laughs> Man, there's so much. All right, well, I got a fair amount of Chivos. I'm pretty happy with this. I might come back to this later. Um, you want to pause? Solution. You want to stop the stream? 
I think I've, I think I've done. For the All day. right. <laughs> but uh, thanks everybody for coming out. I hope you had a fun time. Uh, got to see some interesting games. Oh, I guess my health is going down. Um, cheers to all you guys. Hope you guys um, find some games that are interesting and go out and get some more. Go Chivo hunting. Get There's some badges. There are so many people to raid. Who are we going to raid? Uh, I mean, we were talking about... Um, where's my mouse? I got awesome. Hold on. You know, why don't we... Why don't, why don't we raise uh, Wise Man? Raid Wise Man. He's playing Forgotten oh, he Worlds. Streaming? Yeah, he's playing Forgotten Worlds. That sounds good. Um, yeah, hold on. There we go. I lost track of my mouse there because RetroArch ate it. Anyway, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's man. Thanks, everybody. Uh, Cosmic, um, Foxy, Drake, Drake Knocker, Knocker, Slippy. Slippy. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> yeah, have a great night, everybody. All right, good night, everyone. And let's just... Oh, now I lost control of the mouse. Okay.